G'day trainers, beware the bung here, how are ya? Alright, I've got some mail and it's pretty cool stuff today. Um, I'm not going to drag it out, let's get straight into it. I've got a nice 4x4 uh, four four binder um, that I'm going to put all my rarest cards and stuff into. Um, I'm going to do that and later in the video you're going to see all my rarest cards in this binder. So I'm looking forward to that. Then I've got this one here, which is a case for all my graded cards, just to keep them protected. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And then also got some goodies, like some uh, sleeves here, just uh, soft card sleeves, which is always nice. Uh, some graded card bags, so if you're sending, sending your things or you just want to uh, protect your, your uh, slabs a bit. And then just a little pack of goodies here um, that I'll take you through uh, later on in the video. And the best thing, look at all that foam. Well packaged, which I really appreciate. So, righto guys, we'll get straight into that. Alright guys, we're back. Now, I've loaded up, and as you can see, there are some free spaces in here. So, what I've uh, left them for is to add into my collection. So, there is a few uh, cards uh, in rainbow form that I still don't have, and a few cards that I'm still collecting. This is the Unbroken Bond set. So, uh, most of these full arts, like the Muck, have the rainbow as well. Now, I haven't pulled a lot of them ones, but we're getting there with a few of them. There's still a few trainers that I need as well to go training, and some more gold cards. But this is this is uh, the start of my unbroken bonds. Now I'll just zoom up here, guys. Hold on. I've also got the. Charizard there. So that was the big ticket. That was the big ticket for my unbroken bond set. Now I think the next one is the um, Blastoids, which is pretty pricey as well. Alright, next we've got a few more unbroken bonds there. And this is Sword and Shield, which I haven't done a hell of a lot with. Still got quite a lot to go um, in that regard. So I've got a lot of the common uncommons, but I am missing the ultra rare and above, just because I haven't cracked as many packs. Um, but as you guys know, I am cracking more and more uh, Sun and Moon, uh, uh, sorry, more and more Sword and Shield base at the moment, so. Now, right here we've got Rebel Clash, and these are your starter uh, main evulsions, Rillaboom, Inteleon, and Cinderace, and as you can see I need the rainbow form for all three of them. But, we're doing pretty well in Rebel Clash. As you can see, I'm trying to achieve all of them from your V, your Full Art V, your V Max, and then your V Max Hyper Rare. So, it's pretty much the Hyper Rares that I'm still chasing in Rebel Clash. So. We're getting there, but these are all kind of my rarest and um, cards that deserve a good binder like this. 
Now these these two are your most expensive, most chased after in Rebel Clash, the boss's order. Now they're very nice cards, but in my actual opinion, these are my two favourite trainers of of that set. Um, Milo, I think it's because he's my favourite uh, gym leader in the game, so I'm a bit biased. There's also a beautiful Sonya card that I don't have yet, so... And there's some lovely gold cards in this set, with the Frost Moth as well. Um, there is a Galarian, a Galarian Perserker that I still require. And I've got the Butterfree in the first ETB that I opened. And I've got a sensational amount of these. I think I've got three or four of them scissors. I just, I think that full artwork is fantastic. Now, as you guys know, we pulled this one live on uh, on my TikTok, and it is in phen uh, phenomenal condition. Um, and I also got another one that is in con uh, great condition that I pulled. Um, elsewhere as well so yeah this is the darkness of blaze set so there's some beautiful cards in this one too and then we've got champions path um, which has a few rainbows and got that beautiful guard of war that we we got together and we've got plenty more of them to go so that's it for that binder at the moment um, I'm looking forward to adding plenty more to it, guys. Alright. Okay, now, trainers. I've got some cards that I've uh, been collecting uh, for grading. So, we'll just go through them together. Alright. Got this beautiful, hyper-rare Eternatus um, now this one is in absolutely immaculate condition. I pulled that uh, the other day as well, and oh, absolutely flawless, absolutely. Pulled this Charizard out of a Pokeball, um, which I thought, geez, that could really hurt its condition. Um, but it is another card that uh, it's hard to spot a Bolt. There's only one that I noticed, and you might be able to see it when I kind of move the car. But look at that little dot there. It's just the tiniest bit of trouble, but I think it still can grade quite high. Um, it's worth trying. It's a Charizard. The next two I've got are two Beware cards. Now... The Japanese Beware card I pulled here on the channel and it is in absolutely minty condition. Not a flaw on it, which ugh, I can only hope for a 10. This other Beware, very nice, great condition. Probably not as good, or definitely not as good. Um, but I'd still hope for maybe a 8, possibly a 9. Um, yeah, I'd be shocked if it got a 10. Uh, I'll say that. Now here is the two other scissors I was talking about, them full arts. I just, I just really like scissor, but I just think they're fantastic full art cards. Um, yeah, they're, they're a chance of getting graded. Uh, probably not the first round that I send off, just just from price stance, but um, yeah, eventually. Now I've got a couple of different Charizard V promos. Now I opened up which one I thought was probably looked the best from the outside. So I opened this one up. That one will be going to get graded. And this one possibly will get graded in the sleeve. Um, but I'm not, yeah, I'm not quite sure yet. Alright, next we've got these two uh, Entei's. 
and they're from Neo Discovery, I believe. Now, these are yeah, sealed product, and obviously you can't see the card, but they're behind this little promo. Now, I'm not sure what I want to do with them. You can get them graded like such. Um, give us a comment. Let me know what you think, guys. Should I open one up and send it to grade, or should I keep them both sealed? I'm, yeah, I'm really unsure about that. I've got another un uh, a sealed Charizard as well. And I've got this beautiful Blaine's Growlithe, which I'm a big uh, Growlithe and Arcanine fan, so I'm a big fan of that one. Um, its condition's pretty good. I've got these two lovely Shadowless cards, which are in, oh, I'd say, an 8 or a 9-ish. Maybe more lean into the eight. They're they're tiny, rough around the edges, so that could be interesting. Um, then we've got this Eternatus promo, which is just a lovely card. Got out of that uh, box that we opened the other day, and just two others. A beautiful trainer card from. Unified Minds and a Full Art Rowler and Executor uh, out of Unified Minds. Both lovely cards and both in great condition. So there is a bit going on there in that sense and there is certainly some stuff that I do want to grade. So hey guys, let me know what you think. Give me some advice. I'm, I'm sending five away, uh, hopefully before Christmas. And I'll probably get them back mid-year next year if I'm lucky. Um, yeah, I'd send more away if I could, but it is does start getting quite expensive. So, for now, I really want to see them bewares uh, graded, obviously. And I think a Char maybe two Charizards and an Eternatus. But also, if I pull something mega before then, I think it will have to go as well so anyway give us a like give us a comment give me your thoughts that's what I want I want your thoughts and and we'll see how we go all right trainers I'll be me you be you train to go train all right trainers smash that subscribe button Keep updated with all my new videos. My latest video will pop up now alongside with the YouTube recommended video. So give them a watch and hopefully you enjoy them as much as you enjoyed this one. Alright trainers, go train.